Welcome back guys, what's up today? I'm here with Eunice hair once some more. So this is the box. Oh, this is so innovative. They put Velcro on the front here instead of like a sticker. That's, that's cute. So we got a goodie bag. So inside the goodie bag, I got a Eunice like um, elastic band, a brush. That's the third one of those brushes. That I a pair of lashes, a bonnet. So that's everything that came in this bag. And separately from that, I got a headband. I got a wig cap. Another elastic band that says Eunice. Perfect for your edges. And that's everything that came in the box. I Lastly, I got the wig. Okay, so I'm loving this color. It's like the second time I'm getting this ginger brown kind of um, color. And it's a curly wig. It's a 24-inch wig that we're working with today. I'm going to be sure to put um, the specifications down below, like, you know, the density and everything. It came pre-plucked. So I'm happy about that. I, I love this. I feel like this color is gorgeous for the summertime. The hair feels nice and silky, like that silky curly feeling. Am I getting shedding? Minimal shedding. So yeah, that's how that looks. Um, on the inside, it's a standard cap construction. It came with a total of three combs on the inside and adjustable straps in the back. Um, the lace is a uh, medium brown. So I feel like you could go in and uh, bleach this and tint it if you wish. Or you could keep it because I'm going to keep it and show you guys how it looks. Um, and yeah, today I'm actually going to do a glue install with this wig. So I'm super excited for that. I'm going to be rocking out with this for a couple days. I really do love the look. So let's go ahead and jump into the installation. As I said, I'm feeling this color. I really am. Um, the lace was a little bit too long in my eyes, like over my eyes. So I had to cut away the excess so I could apply this comfortably. Um, I really love how they plucked the hairline. It's very realistic, you know, it's not too deeply plucked. I don't mind a nice deep graduation with my hairline, but you know, once it's not too thin, then yeah. Uh, but this was really nice. Um, for the most part, the lace is pretty like, it's not the thinnest, but it definitely, you know, I use glue to install it, so I feel like glue always helps the lace to melt down a little bit more. Um, but you see further down, we'll speak on that further down in the video. So I cut away the excess and then now, um, as I mentioned before, I'm doing a glue install today. So you know, I usually do this in halves. And so I'm applying my glue here and I spread it out evenly, you know, try not to apply too much glue at once because that can be really hard to dry down. It will take a while to dry down. So just apply, you know, a, a thin layer at a time and spread it out. So, you know, you don't have any lumps and bubbles um, when it dries down because that doesn't look good. Um, so I use my blow dryer on cool air for this. And as usual, you guys know, even though you see me wearing makeup, I definitely cleanse that area before applying glue on top of it. Never apply glue on top of makeup or any form of residue on your skin. It is, it's just not going to work out. Okay. I did three layers of glue today because I wanted to wear this wig for a bit. I didn't show the third layer, you know, kind of just skipped over it. But um, I basically just press in the lace to all that product once it's nice and clear and tacky. Um, and then I use my little Eunice rubber band to help melt things down more with my blow dryer on cool air. And I did it for, did this for like a minute and a half. <laughs> and then I proceeded to cutting away the excess lace. And look at that. So I just press down that portion there. You know, usually I'd go over the very edge with got to be. I just press that down with the edge of the comb. And then I went over here where the sideburn is. I felt like, you know, it wanted a little bit more of something. And because it was showing a little bit casty, I went over top of it with some got to be spray, which this gave a very nice instant strong hold. So that was just adding to the strength of the glue, to be honest. So I didn't mind doing that. Um and yeah I, right here i just pretty much moved on to working on my swoops and 
yeah <laughs> that's the vibe also i you know i said you know i want to do like a nice flat center part curly vibe with this i didn't want like a lot of volume i wanted that nice wet flat look and then i also um made the center part a little bit more precise as you can see in the front there there's a little bit of castiness but i did fix that later on and it just wanted to be dried down a little bit more so eventually that happened Finally done with installing this wig as I said before I really do love the color it's gonna dry down more so I know you guys are seeing a little bit of a cast but it's going to dry down more it's so it feels so secure in my head I love it it's looking so good and it lays really flat that's kind of what I was going for today I really wanted it to lay flat as I said before I really I really just I'm enjoying this kind of color it's like my third time doing this in sweet scent time this color and so i think it's so summer appropriate it's really nice as if you don't want to get too bold with like a full-on ginger color yeah um but i'm going to be sure to link this specific wig in my description box as well as these specifications so please do go ahead and check that out down below and that's it for today's wig look thank you guys so much for watching as usual don't forget to go ahead and check my vlog channel petite suit tv your girl is doing a vlogathon over there sumerthon so check that out your support is always so highly appreciated thank you guys so much for sticking around and i'll see you guys in the next video